Welcome to our channel Storm Rider. The USS Farragut, DDG-99, is one of the highly capable Arleigh Burke-class guided missile destroyers that form the backbone of the United States Navy's surface fleet. And in this review, we will take a deep dive into what makes this ship a formidable presence at sea. Named after Admiral David Glasgow Farragut, the first admiral in the U.S. Navy, and a Civil War hero, the vessel carries not just advanced technology, but also a legacy of naval excellence. Commissioned in 2006, it represents a blend of cutting-edge engineering and practical naval warfare design, making it an ideal subject for anyone curious about modern naval power. When you look at the Farragut, the first thing that stands out is its sleek yet robust design. At nearly 510 feet long with a displacement of about 9,200 tons when fully loaded, this ship is large enough to host a wide range of weapons, sensors, and crew, but still compact enough to be agile in different maritime environments. Its superstructure is angular and carefully designed to reduce radar cross-section, giving it a semi-stealth profile. This isn't stealth in the same sense as an aircraft like the F-35, but it does mean the ship is harder to detect and track compared to older destroyers, giving it a tactical advantage in contested waters. Powering this massive warship are four General Electric LM2500 gas turbines, which generate about 100,000 horsepower combined. This system is extremely reliable and provides the ship with a top speed exceeding 30 knots, which translates to more than 34 miles per hour. That might not sound fast compared to a car, but for a ship this size, it's impressive. The speed allows the Farragut to quickly maneuver, respond to threats, or reposition itself to support allies during operations. It also has a range of over 4,400 nautical miles at cruising speeds, meaning it can conduct long deployments without the constant need for refueling, a key factor for blue water naval operations across oceans. Weapons are at the heart of any warship's credibility and the USS Farragut is loaded with an arsenal that gives it multi-mission capabilities. Its primary weapon system is the Aegis Combat System, a highly advanced command and control and weapon system designed to track and engage multiple threats simultaneously. Central to this system are the ship's AN-SPY-1D radar arrays, those large flat panels you see on the superstructure, which provide powerful long-range tracking of aircraft, ships, and incoming missiles, this is paired with the Vertical Launch System, or VLS, which consists of 96 missile cells. These cells can be loaded with a variety of missiles, including the standard missile family for air defense, Tomahawk cruise missiles for land attack missions, and ASROC missiles for anti-submarine warfare. This flexibility means the Farragut can handle threats in the air, on the surface, underwater, or even strike targets hundreds of miles inland. For closer range defense, the ship has a 5-inch 62 caliber Mark 45 gun mounted on the forward deck. This is a versatile naval gun that can fire a variety of ammunition types, whether it's for shore bombardment, surface engagements, or even limited anti-air rolls. For point defense against missiles and small craft, the Farragut is equipped with the Phalanx CIWS, a rapid-firing Gatling gun that acts as the last line of defense against incoming threats. Add to this an array of smaller machine guns and torpedo tubes, and you get a picture of a ship that can defend itself at multiple ranges. Beyond weapons, the Farragut's sensors and electronic warfare suites are critical for survival in modern conflicts. Its radar and sonar systems provide an extensive picture of the battle space, while its electronic countermeasure systems can jam or deceive enemy sensors and incoming missiles. The ship's combat information center serves as the brain, where highly trained sailors analyze data and make split-second decisions. What's remarkable is how integrated everything is. The radar tracks threats, the Aegis system prioritizes them, and weapons are deployed almost seamlessly, ensuring the ship can react in seconds rather than minutes. Another important aspect of the Farragut is its aviation capability. It has a flight deck and hangar that can accommodate up to two MH-60R Seahawk helicopters, these helicopters significantly extend the destroyer's reach in terms of anti-submarine warfare, search and rescue, and even surface strike capabilities with their own sensors and weapons. With the helicopters working in tandem with the ship's onboard systems, the Farragut can dominate a much larger area of ocean than it could on its own. 
From a crew perspective, the Farragut typically carries about 300 sailors, a mix of officers and enlisted personnel. Life aboard is demanding, as you might expect on a frontline combat ship, but the design of the Arleigh Burke class incorporates lessons from decades of naval service. There are relatively comfortable living quarters compared to older classes, advanced medical facilities, and gyms to help sailors stay fit during long deployments. Morale and readiness are key factors in the effectiveness of any ship, and the Farragut is designed with this balance in mind. When discussing unique selling points, one cannot ignore the durability and versatility of the Arleigh Burke class design, which the Farragut exemplifies. Unlike some specialized ships, it is a true multi-role platform. It can conduct ballistic missile defense, escort aircraft carriers, engage in anti-submarine patrols, or provide firepower for ground forces. The ability to switch between these missions without needing a completely different type of ship makes it cost-effective and strategically invaluable. The ship's design has been so successful that new Arleigh Burke destroyers are still being built today, decades after the class was first introduced, while other ship classes have come and gone. In terms of real-world operations, the USS Farragut has been deployed multiple times in the Atlantic and Mediterranean, participating in NATO exercises, anti-piracy patrols, and supporting carrier strike groups. These deployments showcase its flexibility, from high-intensity combat scenarios to humanitarian missions and maritime security. Its presence alone can serve as a deterrent, as adversaries know the range of capabilities it brings. For the average viewer, who might not be deeply familiar with naval technology, the USS Farragut can be thought of as a floating fortress combined with a high-tech command center. It has the speed to get where it's needed, the sensors to see threats before they become dangerous, the weapons to deal with those threats effectively, and the endurance to stay on station for extended periods. Unlike older warships that might excel at only one mission, the Farragut is like a Swiss army knife of the sea versatile, resilient, and ready for almost anything. What also makes the Farragut significant is its place within a fleet. While impressive on its own, it's designed to work as part of a larger naval force. In a carrier strike group, for example, it would often serve as an escort, using its radar and missiles to protect the carrier from aircraft or missiles, while also being capable of offensive strikes if needed. This teamwork approach makes the destroyer class essential in modern naval strategy. In conclusion, the USS Farragut DDG-99 is more than just another ship. It's a prime example of how modern navies balance firepower, flexibility, and survivability. From its stealthy design to its powerful engines, from its advanced Aegis combat system to its lethal missile arsenal, the Farragut embodies the cutting edge of naval warfare while also serving as a reliable workhorse for the U.S. Navy. It's a ship that carries with it not only the legacy of Admiral Farragut's famous damn the torpedoes spirit, but also the technological sophistication of 21st century maritime power. For anyone curious about what makes modern destroyers so vital, the USS Farragut stands as a compelling and powerful example.